Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can package your Advanced Session Plugin project. For this we start with a new fresh project because a lot of people got problems in the latest tutorials about the Steam Advanced Session Plugin. So let's get started. First of all just open up your Unreal Engine editor. I choose 4.16. So inside here go to new project and under C++ we can now install the Visual Studio 2017. This one will help us to uh, yeah, package our project and we need it. So click here on next and wait until the downloader is installed. So once you finish downloading the installer here you will see this window appear and scroll down to uh, the bottom and here you have game uh, yeah game with uh, C++ and click on this checkbox here and then you see on the right side an overview of all components that will be installed and here we need to have Unreal Engine installer so once this is chosen go to your uh, yeah favorite folder or favorite uh, hard drive and install to Visual Studio into this one. And yeah, click here on install. And now just wait until this is finished. And in the meantime, we can also re download the Unreal Engine Advanced Session plugin. So go ahead here on this link. And inside here, click on 4.16. And then you click here on this button. And then on this and download it. I already downloaded the Advanced Session plugin, so I don't need this to be done again. And I would just wait for the Visual Studio to be completed and then we will continue. Finally, I finished to download the Visual Studio. And now we can go under new project and create the third person template here. So let's call this advanced session. I uh, make here an underscore because you can only have 20 characters for um, yeah project name. So I will just cut this here. And yeah, let's actually create this. You don't need to make a C++ project. You can, but you don't need to. You only need to Visual Studio to um, actually package the project later. So let's wait this out here. And yeah, first time loading is every time a bit longer. So here we are. Um, yeah, now we can close this up and we need to open up Google here and type in Unreal Engine subsystem. So here, this one, the second one. Uh, so here is the link. And at the bo bottom we have the INI configuration, or INI, I don't know how to spell this. So you copy this and make a right click on your project, show the folders, and on the config and under default engine INI, just paste it in here close this up and save this. So um, yeah, next up we have our advanced session plugin, which we downloaded later. So open this one up. And this time we don't need to install this one on the uh, project base. We can install this on the engine base and it will work. So um, yeah, just uh, again, open up the content folder here. Oh no, we don't need the content for us. <laughs> Sorry, my fault. We uh, need to open up the source folder from the engine. So mine is on uh, volume D and under the Epic Games here. And there I installed 4.16. Under engine, this plugins and here I already pasted it in. So I delete this. So here you should have not the advanced session plugin and you can just paste this into this folder here. And yeah, then you have it installed on uh, engine level. So you can basically add this plugin to every project. You don't need to put it into the project folder. 
So let's open up our advanced session tutorial now. Oh, sorry. And in my last videos, I made a mistake here with, um, yeah, with a subsystem. So uh, I'll show you now how you can do this correct here. So just go under plugins, and here on the advanced session, I don't know why it is uh, works for me, but it works. So enable both here, not only one. If uh, every time I only activated the Steam sessions, uh, my project couldn't be loaded without, um, yeah, the advanced session plugin installed at the project base. So if you install this pro uh, this plugin into the engine level, then you need to enable both here. And make sure you only uh, also have the online subsystem here and online subsystem Steam enabled. So if you have this done, you can close this up and basically just save here. You don't need to, but I always do this. Close this up. And now if you restart the project, you should be able to load this completely. And every time I did this the last time, it gives me an error and I needed to install the plugin into the project folder. But now with everything selected, you can just easily reopen it and it will work. So if the proof is here with a standalone game, make sure Steam is uh, online and you are logged in into Steam. And once you play it in standalone, and yeah, Steam subsystem only works in standalone, you will see here I can play and there on the right bottom you have the Steam icon and if I play, press shift and tap I have the Steam overlay. Playing Spacewire at the moment, my friends are online, yeah everything is working. So basically that's it for this part but also I want to show you that uh, the packaging of a project will also work. Uh, but before we do this, small note here from the um, plugin advanced session forum thread. If you uh, install the project level, um, you need to create a, oh sorry, no, not this, here this uh, note here. If you package in for a platform that is not Windows, you may need to uh, have the plugin installed at the project level. So exactly what I was telling you, you need to also to um, make here a right click on your project. And here you need to do a new folder exactly like in the engine called plugins and there you need to paste in the advanced session plugin. So if you want to uh, export for Mac or for mobile. So I don't have a Mac and I don't want to export for mobile so I just leave it in the engine level and we'll export it now. So let's get this done here. Uh, I just make it on the desktop just use here the, oh, let's make a new one. I have there some test folders, call this test2. <laughs> Very creative here. And then it will start packaging and you can also look into the output log. And I recommend you to pull this one here into this um, yeah, place so you can switch between those two here. And always have the output uh, yeah, near your content browser. So here you can uh, watch what's actually happening and I can tell you at the moment it works good because we have no fail failures here at the beginning and yeah that's a good uh, yeah hint and it should work. So this could take up to you know, one to two minutes if you have like I, a very basic project. If you have bigger project with a lot, a lot of maps and everything it will take a lot of more time so yeah be careful with this packaging project here. So uh, yeah, this should be nearly everything. Here is the uh, end of it and there it is. Build successful, there stands it. Uh, we can pull this down here. Yeah, minimize this and this one and this one and this one here. So get test two here, my very creative folder name. Now you have a game folder which you can share with your friends and they could also play this game now without uh, the Unreal Engine installed. So open this one here up. Yeah, give him some uh, uh, connections to your firewall and then you're in-game here with Steam connected. So yeah, you're playing Space War, there's the time, how many minutes you played this in the last week and all the stuff from Steam. So yeah, now this is working 
and we will use this as the base for um, yeah some easy tutorials setting up servers finding servers uh, joining friends and all the stuff which is necessary for a multiplayer game and we will do this in the next few days so stay tuned if you have any specific wishes about other topics like maybe materials or you have any ideas for me what I can cover in the next videos leave just a comment and yeah we will talk about that inside our comments so thanks for watching and yeah have a nice day bye